Hello friends, welcome to Android Gateway YouTube channel. In this tutorial, you will learn how to pass code draw script MCQ test as well as audio test. So before starting audio test and MCQ test, first of all you must read go transcription guideline rules. This guideline rule is very important. You must read all these guidelines all the way to the end, one to two time. This will help you during the test exam. These transcription guidelines is very important. You must apply all these transcription guidelines into the this test. So after reading this transcription guideline, let's start MCQ test. So MCQ test apply for transcriber position. To apply for transcriber position, you must complete page hundred percent correct using our guideline. So this guideline is very important. You must read this guideline section. Each question can have one or more correct answer. So simply read first question. And first question is in clean or BTM, the transcribed test does not include. So there is four different options. First option is filler word unless they add meaning. So filler word not included in clean or BTM. And second option expression oh my god, oh dear, oh my, oh boy, and etc. So expression are included in clean war BTM. If you have any doubt, you simply check transcription guideline. And here is clean war BTM section, and here you see false start. And first, the transcribed test doesn't does not include speech error for start start repetition filler word and expression expression should be kept regardless of the war medium type so expression are included in clean war medium so that's why b option is not correct and repetition is also not included and starter is also not included so that's why first option is answer is A, C and D. Let's move to the second question. And second question is which sentence is correctly capitalized and punctuated. So here is a four different option and correct option is T because it is correctly capitalized and punctuated. Let's move to the third question and question is how should you transcribe horse so there is uh, three different option if you have any doubt related to this question you simply read transcription guideline and uh, if you read transcription guideline or section time section Answer of this question. So here is times of the day and dash always capitalize AM and PM do this and when using o'clock spell out the numbers 11 o'clock. So this is the times rules. According to the transcription guide, the rules, first option is correct. Fourth question, if you are working on the part of 5 to 15 minutes, time stepping every 30 seconds should start at. So correct answer of this question is first one. If you have any doubt related to this question, you simply read transcription guideline in time stamping section fifth question is which is the correct format according to the go transcription guideline so here is four different option and correct option is B is the correct option she come to me and said and so on so this is the correct option sixth question what is considered as a filler word in full bar BTM? So, 
first of all you simply read full wall BTM section and here is full wall BTM section and let's move to the filler word so these all word are filler word mm, kind of sort of I mean you know these are filler word in B and C are filler word. Consider as a filler word in full war BTM. Seventh question What are the types of time stamping? Types of time stamping simply check transcription guideline rules and time stamping types. So there is uh, two types every two minutes and every time the speaker change so according to the transcription guideline change of speaker and every two minutes now the option is correct option also seventh question let's move to the next question and next question is a grammatical question and question is i dash a good student so there is five different option and correct option is b option i am a good student Ninth question is how do repetition look in full war BTM? So there is four different options and correct option is first one. If you have any doubt related to this question, you simply read full war BTM and in full war BTM you read repetition section of so here is a repetition section in full war BTM so here is I went then dash are used I went to the bank last Friday so single dash used with the start word so that's why first option is correct according to the transcription guideline tenth and last question how should the name of film books magazine song title arts files play TV and radio program for an expression look in the transcription so correct option is it should always be italic live. So if you have any doubt related to this question, you simply check transcription guide and you get the answer. There is italic lies, italic lies, film, books, magazine, song, title, as well as arts, was play, TV, radio program, and further expression. So that's why this first option is correct. It should always be italic lies. After all, you need to click on confirm. After clicking on confirm, you move to the next page of go transcript audio test. So before starting, before starting audio test, you must read go transcription guideline one to two times. This will help you during the audio test exam. If you need more help how to apply transcription guideline, you simply check if you want to try doing old test. So simply check old test. And in, in here you get uh, the information how apply the transcription guideline as well. So after reading transcription guideline and after uh, checking the old test, let's start the audio test. This audio is used for the transcriber test at Go Transcript. Yesterday I took a walk in the local forest. The copse that adjoins our property here at Go Transcript is normally lush and verdant. Sadly, today it was covered with Foscheck, the best known of several brands of long-term fire retardants, Class A foams and gels manufactured by Perimeter Solutions in Ontario, California and Moreland, Idaho. Don't get me wrong, I'm grateful for the very existence of such materials currently being used for fighting these dreadful wildfires. It's just that salmon and green are not my all-time favorite color combination. Seeing them together put me in mind of that painfully bad 80s TV show, Go Transcript Vice. Still, I'm beholden to those brave men and women who are out there holding back the conflagration. We can certainly be more hopeful today than in times past. I'm reminded of a New Jersey village called Go Transcript, lost in the hills back of Lake Hopatokong, 
a charming, sleepy little village that once sat along a stream fringed with butterball trees, looking contentedly out of its valley up the steep wooded hill that rose before it. The general attitude of this town toward progress was shown well enough by this, that the village of Go Transcript could never see the use of a fire department. They never had one and never proposed to. Other people's houses might get on fire, but theirs never did. Sadly, on a certain drizzling Sunday in March of the new century year, at about 6.30 a.m., all that changed. While the denizens of the village slept it off after last night's go transcript hoedown and bun fight, a long oil train was puffing up the steep grade from South Joycey, bringing 60, jo 60 cars loaded with crude petroleum and trouble. On came the oil train, its front engine panting. As the front of the train climbed over the ridge, the pusher gave a final shove to the caboose and leapt off. The rest of the caboose crew raised a general caterwaul. A brakeman on the front half started to run back. Thirty-seven cars behind the engine, a coupling had snapped, and the train was careering down the grade in two separate sections. Now they had twenty-three loaded oil cars running pell-mell towards the village of Go Transcript, and at least a million gallons of crude oil being discharged. It was a real cluster foxtrot, I'm telling you, not to mention a foobar. As for the outcome of the situation, I'll be honest with you, I have no idea. The book I'm reading it from is missing a few pages toward the end. However, I just checked my handy dandy, dandy atlas and Google mapped this here village, but with not a luck. I guess we'll just have to ask the Go Transcript admins. This audio is used for the transcriber test at Go Transcript. So friend, this is the audio test for today. I hope this video is helpful for you. Before submitting the audio test, you must apply all Go Transcription guideline rule into this. Without applying Go Transcription guideline rule, you never pass Go Transcript audio test. So friend, I hope this video is helpful for you. Please like this video and also do not forget to subscribe my YouTube channel. Thank you very much. See you soon.